Hi everyone, Dr. Harmon here. Today I'd like to talk about post-operative care after Mohs reconstructive surgery. Now, I'd like to refer you back to the general instructions on your preoperative packet, as well as the instructions specific for Mohs, which there's more information on what I'm talking about in at the preoperative and post-operative instruction packet. I'd also like to say that in the event of an emergency, 911 is always the number to call. Every Mohs reconstructive procedure is different. And so I'll talk a little bit about what to expect and just know that there's going to be a range of times in which sutures are removed and if you have a bolster dressing, when that would be removed. Incisions are cared for by applying Bacitrace and antibiotic ointment twice daily for three days after surgery. Now, if you're allergic to Bacitrace, I'll recommend an alternative. After three days, you'll stop the Bacitrace and start Aquaphor ointment. You'll apply that until day 14 after surgery twice daily. If you're allergic to Aquaphor, we can always switch to Vaseline. After day 14, I'll discuss, rec uh, I'll recommend applying a mineral-based sunscreen of an SPF of 30 or greater, as well as a silicone-based scar gel for three months after surgery. Stitches come out between days five and 10. Most come out day seven. Others may come out day five. Others may come out day 10. It really just depends on the location where the surgery was performed. If you have a bolster dressing on your ear, that'll come out day five. And if you have a bolster dressing due to a skin graft somewhere on your face, that will come off day seven. As I remove sutures, I will apply a medication as well as tape on those incisions. And you may get that tape wet. I encourage you to wash your face. And if that tape falls off, then that's okay. I can always apply more if I need to, but I usually do not have to. Um, that tape will not be useful after a few days after your first set of suture removal anyway. If you have dry blood or crusting on the incisions, I recommend using half drank hydrogen peroxide, a one-to-one -one mixture of hydrogen peroxide and water with a Q-tip dipped in, and then roll it on the incision to remove any dry blood or crusting prior to applying the bacitracin or the aquaphor.